Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys. We're here with Babe. We're gonna talk to you guys today about FIV cats because not a lot of people know about them and what they are. And a lot of people have false ideas about um, FIV and FIV cats and they're very nervous to adopt them. So we wanted to clear up some rumors and educate everyone a little bit. Um, Babe is not FIV positive, but he's very cute. So we thought he should come out and hang out. <laughs> yeah, Babe also wants to talk about FIV and clear out the air. Yeah, his friends are <laughs> FIV. His friends are FIV and that, that doesn't mean that they can't be friends. <laughs> he doesn't really want to be held right now. <laughs> right. He's not used to being up here. So yeah, it doesn't mean they can't be friends. They absolutely yeah. should be friends with FIV positive cats. Yeah. When I first started working here, I had no idea what FIV positive cats meant, but it sounds scary, just like how yeah, having does. deja vu to ringworm because ringworm also sounds really scary, but you know, come to realize it's not actually scary at all. And no. same thing with FIV. So. Yeah, well just recently we had a couple um, of a family came in to adopt and they they fell in love with two cats and one was Lexa and after we told them that she was FIV positive they were a little nervous and didn't want to go through with it but we spoke to them and we went through some facts and they adopted her! So she's home with Blanche and her other FIV negative cat friends and everyone's good so we, we just want to let everyone know that it is safe to adopt mm -hmm. FIV positive cats. So tell me about the signs and symptoms of FIV positive cats. How do you know? The only way you would know is by testing them. So there really are no signs and symptoms at all. They just are just like any other cat. Um, you would never be able to tell. There's nothing about them that, that screams I'm FIV positive unless you saw their blood work. When you hear FIV positive cat, what does it mean for the cat? Uh, well, the only thing with the FIV, if they're FIV positive, it just means that their immune system might be a little bit less strong than those without FIV. Mm -hmm. So they might be a little bit more prone to getting a cold or getting, you know, infections. Um, we do suggest FIV positive cats stay indoors, but we do suggest all cats stay indoors. It's a lot safer. Their life expectancy is a lot longer as an indoor cat. Um, if they do get you know, a cold or a wound, it might take a little longer to get better. Um, that's the only thing with FIV positive cats. Do they have shorter lifespans no. because they're FIV? They don't. Uh, a lot of people think that they do, but they don't. Um, being that they do take a little bit longer to get better, um, that would be like their secondary infection to make them sick. So the actual FIV isn't making them sick. It's not It's not causing anything negative towards them. But if they have a cold, it'll just take a little longer to get better. But their life expectancy is just as long as any other cat. And the thing with FIV positive cats, the reason why it's okay for them to be with negative cats is because you can't spread it through water, food bowls. It's not like an a disease that you can catch that's airborne. Um, can humans catch it? No. No. Humans right? can't catch it. It's, it's feline, immuno, something. Virus or something, yeah. probably. So it, the F stands for feline, so it's I'll only... i the, the yeah. real actual <laughs> term down here. The F stands for feline, so it's only for... Um, Unlike ringworm, Unlike where ringworm, ringworm yeah. humans can catch, but FIV, you can't catch no matter if the cat bites you, scratches you. The only way that it's transferable between cats, too, is a deep bite wound, yeah. which usually doesn't happen in a home. No, you know, like or my here. Cats, my cats will, like, fight and, like, you know, I say bicker, but right. they'll never, ever bite down on each other to the point where, like, There's a street what? cat, like, a street fight right. would happen, and that's why it spreads on the streets. Yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of feral cats can get it because um, they'll draw blood when fighting. Over territory usually, yeah. and that's not usually No, in long. the three years that we've been here, we've never once had a fight between cats where blood was drawn. Yeah. Like, you know, it's a smack here and there, cannot transmit FIV. And people get very nervous about it, but if we are having them here mixed with 
the cast without FIV. We just, we're doing that to show you that it's really not dangerous. Mm -hmm. It's not that easily transmittable. Um, the other way cats can get it is from their mom. When they're, before they're born, the mom can pass it to them. And those are the only two ways, really, cats can get FIV. Yeah. Uh, we've had a lot of FIV positive cats here, and they've all been adopted. They're all they're all doing great. Like we've never had any issues with them. Muffin Man. Muffin Man. I always one of forget. the best cats ever. He's yeah. FIV positive. He's yes. in a home. He's a single cat though. Yeah. Who else? Lexa just got adopted. Lexa just got adopted. We have April right now, who is FIV positive. We'll, she, we'll show you her at the end. We of this will. Video. Um, she was in a home with a lot of the cats we have because they came from a hoarding situation, which also proves to you that not it's not that transmittable because most of those cats are not FIV positive, just April and her sister because they got it from their mom mm -hmm. when they were born. Yeah, and there were 50 cats in that house, yeah. inside and outside of that house. So Right. Yeah, and only two of, out of the 50 actually were FIV positive. Right. And another thing that um, I learned over the years is when you test a cat for FIV, it's called a snap test. Um, to do, They do that with kittens a lot and almost always they test positive and it's, it's a false positive if they're six months and under. So a lot of kittens we've gotten test FIV positive, but then after the six months you retest and they end up being negative. So if you find kittens or if, if you're trying to you know, test kittens for this, it can often be a false positive when they're that little. Yep, so if you're looking to adopt a cat and you hear that they're FIV positive, don't immediately say, oh no, I can't adopt that cat, especially if you want others or you have others already. It really is not a big deal at all. And you'll see on our bio on our website <laughs> for yeah. all the cats that are FIV positive, don't worry, it's not a big deal. No, it's really, it's <laughs> it's really like, not. We it's like nothing even to us. Yeah, we shouldn't I know. even mention it. I know. But I feel like it's necessary because we don't want to blindside anyone that comes in to look at a cat and they're like, oh, they're FIV right. positive. Like, we put all the cards on the table for every cat and, you know, that's one of them, but it really means nothing and that's why we're on here talking to you about it. Yeah. We, uh, we just want to spread this this word to everyone, so when you are going to look for a cat, just don't overlook the FIV positive cats. Absolutely. All right, so stay tuned for the next video. We'll be back soon with another adventure. Yes, All so right. fun. <laughs> and leave in the comments if you have an FIV positive cat or have adopted one in the past. We would love to hear from you guys. And like this video and make sure you subscribe. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait. <laughs>